Hi, I'm the Magpie, and this Monday I have a plan. Albeit a very, very simple plan, but that's good because simple plans are easy to follow. Uh, I have here in front of me a Yamaha TYU 20. And if you have no idea what the Yamaha TYU 20 is, I am not surprised at all because it's perhaps it's at least one of if not the rarest Yamaha keyboard ever created and there's just no one who knows what it is okay and I just defended it <laughs> but yeah Yamaha made a series of TYU keyboards so the 20 the 30 and the 40 one could ask why they didn't just call it the toy and also why they didn't start at 10. However, uh, this one, the TYU 30, that just looks really cool together with the TYU 20. This one, Kino Keys has a video on it, so I suggest go watch that if you wanna see a person who knows seemingly what he's doing. Then we have the TYU 40, which is the, hmm, Wow, coolest version with a pitch wheel and everything. And I intend to make a video on this one soon because it's really quirky and it's got probably the weirdest thing you can do with it in any Yamaha keyboard ever created. So that's also pretty fun, actually. You're gonna have to let me know if that statement holds true. However, they created these three. I don't really know, especially this one. Like, I, I don't know how this one was released. All the, the like, the ones you can see online who talk a little bit about it. Says the, says Spain as a country of having acquired it, but it's made in Japan. And yeah, let's just get into it instead because what is so fascinating with this one and the reason I'm making this video with the plan of just recording sounds is because I wanna go inside and I wanna, I don't know, I wanna do something with it. But before I do that, I kind of feel like I have to record it into music because, yeah, it's got a voice in it, which I assume also is a sampled voice, which is really rare for the time, kind of, in these types of things. <laughs> So it's a it's a voice saying do re mi fa si la ti do do re mi and it's really awful quality, which is kind of cool <laughs> to be honest. But it's very short samples, and it gives it like it's hard to play. <laughs> If you want to play like that, it's got a piano also. However, that's of course not at all as interesting. Uh, I can also show you that you can like autoplay if you hold one of the numbers. I don't know if you can pick that up, but there are numbers on each one of the keys. And then if you hold one in while well, you fire it up. Because I'm just gonna record it. I wanna put it in something. I have no idea how. I'm probably gonna have to, you know, uh, do a bunch of things with those sounds. But I wanna say two things first though. First being that if anyone has any information about this at all, please leave it in the comments. Second, I will of course provide a sample pack with all of those. Uh, so magpiestuff.com, there's gonna be a sample pack with the Doremi, the, the Yamaha, like, man, who is this? Just imagine that! Who is this person? Like, what's the story? Here. But firstly, I have this, which I figured could be cool, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, as you probably noticed, you can only play the white keys, so it's kind of that's that's the thing that I would have to work around. Nice. 
Nice. Like two tape. But since it is Muno, I'm thinking that, you know, I'm gonna have to do multiple recordings, but I can probably do something. <laughs> It's... It's nice! I mean, it is what it is. Kinda... I guess I could pull out notes and stuff like that. But I don't feel like it right now. But I might do it in the next one. Uh, however, I'm gonna see if I feel it. See how that turn out later uh, but <laughs> took a long while of just going like that but when you do you're able to like So that's really nice. I mean, I really uh, kind of sort of have to clean up some stuff, but uh, at least I'm feeling it. And feeling it might be the only reason.